How did they break the news to you? Who broke the news to you? They called us back to the hospital. So the, I, I spent the night of the 29th um, at the hospital with him. Mm-hmm. And in the morning, um, I think around nine o'clock, they said to my sister and I that, you know, we can go home, freshen up. Um, it's fine. He's stable. We we'll maybe take a nap and then we'll come back. Mm-hmm. So that morning I'm in the shower, but something is just not sitting right in my spirit. So I come out, I look at my phone and I have like, sure, endless missed calls mm-hmm. from the hospital. Mm-hmm. And my heart just sank. Mm-hmm. Um, so I called back and they said, you need to come back now. So I, I don't even remember wiping myself. I literally just put on track suits and ran. Um, so by the time we got there, I mean, I just had to look at their faces to know he had departed. Um, I'm, I'm, and I was so mad. Hey? I was mad because yeah. I wanted to be there. Yeah. I wanted to be there, but clearly he didn't want to put me through through that. Um, not that it made any difference, to be honest, because mm-hmm. just hearing that was like, I don't know. I think this, this, this whole year has been strange for me. Of course. Yeah, of course. Do you remember the last conversation Amen. with him? I remember the last thing I said to him and the last thing he said to me mm-hmm. before they before they put him under, before they intubated him. Mm -hmm. Um, He he wasn't okay that day and I could tell, right? So I was just sitting there massaging his feet and Mm -hmm. looking at him and just my heart breaking for him because um, he he had suffered so much. Mm -hmm. Um, And as as I was massaging his feet, I just looked at him and he was looking at me and I said to him, you're my soulmate. So he he couldn't Mm -hmm. speak because he had that that, um, CPAP mask Mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And he just said, you know, like... He pointed at himself yeah, and you're pointing my, you're at my you soulmate too. too. Right? Um, so that was literally the last words spoken to each other before he was under. Obviously, I've, I've spoken to him a lot after that, hoping he can hear me. Um, but I'm last struggling. communication, yeah. that, that mm. was it. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Salom. And, of course, that was Connie Ferguson on Dinewa Ranaka and Saul Penduka's show sharing the last moment and conversation she had with her husband, Oshona Ferguson, who sadly passed away on the 30th of July, 2021. You guys, may his beautiful soul continue to rest in peace.